so you've got your system eight, you want to get going, but you have to install all the stuff on your laptop to allow you to download the plugins and make sure it's communicating with the laptop. So here's how to do it. First thing we need to do is we need to go to the Roland website and grab hold of the integration files. So HTTP, hang on, slash Roland. And for some reason, it's a .cm, not .com. But that takes us to the Roland website. And it takes us to the System 8 page as well. There you go, System 8 page. Now, if you scroll down the page, what you'll then see is a download section. Click on the downloads. And here we have the section with all the drivers and uh, an update to the firmware. So this video is being made at the beginning of November 2016. So at this point, uh, the system has been shipped with a firmware that is lower than 1.02. So we need to do a system upgrade as well. Um, we're also, I'm also filming this video on a Mac, so I'm going to download this driver set here for the Mac. Obviously, there's a driver set for Windows 10 and a driver set for earlier versions of Windows. Be uh, aware that even though Roland say they will support Windows, Windows 7 is just about to go out of support very, very soon. Um, and prior versions of Windows to Windows 7, you'll probably find will not be supported. Okay, so it's really a Windows 8 driver and a Windows 7 driver, that one. Anyway, I've already downloaded these, so I'm going to get out of Firefox at this point. And as you can see on my desktop, lovely picture of me. Uh, you can see this is the file that was downloaded, which has the USB drivers. And when you double click on that, it will self extract to a folder, which I'm going to open now. Okay, before you actually install the uh, drivers on your uh, laptop, do not connect the System 8 to it. With all the ARIA gear, you mustn't connect the ARIA equipment to your laptop until you have installed the drivers. Okay, so don't do that. You know, be a little bit patient and install the drivers first. So here we go. I'm going to click on the System 8 driver. There is also an uninstaller in here. But we're going to install the drivers themselves. Do I want to do this? Of course I do. Continue. Now, what would have happened, there was a screen that popped up on just before uh, this screen, which asked me for a password because this is a Mac and my Mac is locked down. It will always ask me for a password to do an install. So I haven't obviously shown that because it's got my name and password on it. Um, but we're now onto this screen here, which is continue with installation. Yes, of course I am. And there we go, it's installing the components. As you can see, it's now installed everything. It's now asking me to restart. So I'm gonna stop the video at this point and restart the machine. So assuming you've installed your System 8 driver and for whatever reason you need to uninstall it, it's a reverse procedure to the install. You extract the file from Roland, which is this file here, and it will extract itself to a folder, which is this folder here. If you click on the folder, it exposes four files. So there's the install file, and this is the uninstall file. So you click on the uninstaller. As you can see, it's prompting me to uninstall. Click on the uninstall button. Am I sure? Of course I am. And now it's saying I need to restart the computer. The computer will restart and the uninstall will be complete. 